Dougie, a comfortable win. Must be satisfied with that performance. Yeah, and that was good. It was. Um, I thought the way we started was excellent. Uh, exactly the way we want to play. Um, but we let ourselves down in the second quarter a little bit um, around the footy. Uh, but the response in the second half was what we're after. So um, you know, we take a ten-goal win and move on. It was good. What was the message in the rooms from half-time? The boys came out to play in the third quarter after that second quarter lapse. Yeah, and no, I was. Uh, yeah, Pike was obviously disappointed as we were as a playing group. So we just had to be honest and say that wasn't the standard we expect. Um, I thought we just lost momentum around the footy. We probably um, overused it a bit and invited them into the game. And I thought our second and third efforts around the ball was poor. So um, once we knew we'd tidy that up, we'd be, we'd be right. How did you rate your own game? A little bit quiet in the first half, but that third quarter came out. 13 disposals, a couple of goals. Yeah, no, it was, um, it was good. Obviously, just uh, trying to play my role up forward at times throughout the game. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to get the ball as a smaller forward just through the way we move the ball. But, um, yeah, just tried to reset at half-time and, and try and set myself on a big third quarter and um, try and change the momentum of the game. So, yeah, I just enjoy my footy and, and trying to play off the team, which is good. And what is your role? You started the year playing off half-back and obviously there's been a few injuries. Yeah. Are you just sort of a jack-of-all-trades now? <laughs> yeah, jack-of-all-master and none, yeah. Um, no, I just enjoy my footy. I mean, whether it be, you know, last week I played in every line. Um, Tonight it was mainly midfield and forward, so it um, just depends on the balance of the team really and uh, you know, where we have a few holes. So if a guy goes down, down back, I might need to play there for a bit, but generally it's uh, midfield and forward, so um, it keeps it interesting. Obviously um, there's subtle differences in each line, but uh, the way I go about my footy doesn't change too much depending on where you play. One of the major positives was the form of our key forwards. Uh, Gulf was on fire and JJ and a few others. Um, and even spread across the board must be pleasing. Yeah, no, it is. That's what we want from our forwards. Obviously, just first and foremost is competing in the air, bringing the ball to the front. Um, but I thought the way they jumped at it tonight and able to take a few clunks was was exciting. Gov was back to his best tonight, which is fantastic for him. And I thought um, back at the ground level, you know, um, Gallucci, Eddie, these types are good too. So I thought our forwards were really good. Massive week coming up with the showdown. How quickly does the attention turn to that? Yeah, pretty much now. Yeah, the boys, um, you know, try to enjoy the win for what it is. Um, but obviously got uh, one eye on the showdown already. Um, they're great games, great build up throughout the state. Boys always get up for it and enjoy it. Um, so, you know, Porter playing some good footy. Um, probably had a little bit of an up and down year, but you know their best is very good, so we need to respect that and uh, make sure we come ready to play. And it'll help if those leaders in Tex Sloan come back into the side. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we um, missed the boys tonight, but I thought in saying that the leadership out there tonight was first class as well. Lynchy stepped up and Matty Crouch, obviously a young leader in the footy club, done a fantastic job. Um, but yeah, hopefully Tex gets back. He'd be, he was very close this week. Sloan, he's probably right to go. So it'll be great to have a couple of um, experienced players and leaders have footy club back. Well played and thanks for your time. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks.